Harry? So I thought today we would make something really funky using these two huge blanks. Do you like my glasses? Mm. More about those in just a sec. So what I thought we would do is we would try to make just a completely wood project. I'm not going to use any resin today. Um, but um, I haven't made a, a wood project for ages. So what I thought I'd do is make a really, I don't know actually, <laughs> but something quite cool, mixing up both of these blanks. Uh, maybe that one on top of that one. So I don't really know yet, but we will find out in a minute. Okay, before we get started on this crazy project, I just want to say a massive thank you to GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring this video. By cutting out the middleman, GlassesUSA.com offers prescription glasses and sunglasses at up to 70% of retail prices. <laughs> now you can shop for all your eyewear needs online at affordable prices without even leaving your home. <laughs> GlassesUSA.com offer over six thousand styles of eyeglasses and sunglasses including in-house brands like Muse and Amelia E and of course designer brands like Ray-Ban, Oakley's, Armani, Gucky, Gucci and many more. You can find every conceivable style and colour and speciality glasses. A sports glasses, safety glasses, kids glasses and more. Almost all pairs can be ordered with your own prescription as well. I do like these ones. <laughs> these are pretty neat. A complete pair of eyeglasses and sunglasses start from only 30 bucks. Wow. Three basic prescription lens are included in every frame. I mean, check out these glasses. These are pretty neat. I've got some more. Check these out. These are called Muse glasses. These are Otterstone Willow. These are called Reveal Pinch. And these <laughs> are called Muse M glasses. And last but not least, these ones hmm, are called Harry Potter. No, Ototo Fred. But I think I'm gonna go with these ones. I actually really like these. I kind of look a bit more professory, a bit more mad scientist-y. What do you like? These guys really do have a massive selection of glasses, guys. Check these guys out. Link below, glassesusa.com. Okay, on to this crazy project. So we're going to stick this plate in the middle so we can secure this to the lathe. But first, I'm going to need my mic wall. Next up, we're gonna use some Gorilla Glue. Ah! Ah! Don't scare me like that. Sorry.
rock. I'm not going to inlay that cheap piece of wood into this nice, jubbly, bubbly piece of wood. <laughs> I've got another funky little idea. This certainly does take some precision work. Got to be really, really careful and have a really sharp knife. Because one false move and it could be disaster forever. And we don't want that, do we? years later and i finished all cut out chiseled out took me ages now some of you might be thinking why didn't he just cut it out on the cnc good point well i obviously wanted to challenge myself and that would have been way too easy wouldn't it Oh man, what? Are you serious? Somebody playing a trick on me. <laughs> oh. Now what am I gonna do with that? Seriously. Well that wasn't funny. I'm sure somebody is playing a trick on me. Hmm. for a cuppa now and again.
I bet you're wondering, what's he up to now? I don't actually know. To be honest. Oh yes! <laughs> now for the bit that we've all been waiting for. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah! Look at that. Right. Right, that was a bit of sanding sealer. You gotta put that stuff on because it seals it after sanding. Funnily enough. bit weird yep <laughs> now that does look strange but i like it now i was gonna go for the old finial in the middle but i thought no i thought that uh, this type of finial doing a bit of blacksmithing for you as well jumping on the forge um knocking this little handle up and uh yeah it's pretty cool actually opens up quite well it's a little bit kind of weird because it's quite big so you have to kind of like hold it you have to like cuddle it to open it in a certain way, like this. <laughs> um, well, it, it works better if you if you kind of got it, you know, on the on the ground. But anyway, fits very nicely. Am I dreaming? Like that. Um, don't think it's coming off or going anywhere. So that's that's quite good. I'm quite pleased about that because <laughs> it's sometimes quite tricky, you know, to get it right without it you know being too loose or too tight so it's, it's quite tricky i think what the knack is sometimes is that when you cut it out and you get a perfect fit don't sand it too much because the moment you start sanding 
you're obviously taking material off and then suddenly your lid doesn't fit. That's happened to me on many occasions. <laughs> um, I've had to put my number 26 emblem in there because I've lost my 25 emblem. Don't know where it's gone, but I spoke to my old mate, Von Hank on Etsy, and uh, he's gonna do me up another number 25. Cheers, Martin. So I'm cracking out my Harry Potter glasses from glassesusa.com. <laughs> Look at these. Actually, it's a little bit different actually than the other ones I had earlier on. I've got another round pair. I've lost them. <laughs> they're in the workshop somewhere, but they're very similar. But I kind of like this look actually. What do you reckon? Um, so what do you think, folks? A bit different. Yes, I think it is. Quite like the combination of the wood. Um, I got a bit of inspiration actually from this from Jimmy DeResta uh, a few videos ago. He made something similar to this using sort of mixed woods, and um, I kind of like. Uh, saw that and I thought, now I've, I wanted to do something like this for ages, um, like a bit of a mixed wood pattern, some kind. And I saw this video he made, really cool. Put a link down below so you can see it. Check it out, it's really cool. Um, and um, I thought, yes, Jimmy, thanks. That gave me a bit of inspiration to kind of kick myself into doing this project for you guys today. So, uh, cheers to Jimmy uh, for the inspiration, buddy. Nice one, happy days. And, um, I hope you like it, a little bit different, used a bit of the CNC, but then also tried to carve out the, uh, the, the, what is it? <laughs> what is that? It's a star, it's a star. Is it? Yeah, it's a star. It's a star. I could have cut it out on the CNC, but I didn't. And I, I think as I was doing it, I kind of thought to myself, I could do this on the CNC. But then I thought, nah, let's carry on doing it this way because it was a bit more challenging. Um, but it actually got quite a nice fit, actually, considering it was chiselled out. Obviously, all the small gaps in there I filled in with a bit of dust. Dust! <laughs> um, so, um, and then I put this inlay of copper, not copper, brass, sort of a brass uh, band around it at the bottom. Initially, I was going to cut that off. But then I thought, no, actually, I was going to put something in it. So I decided to put brass in it. To make it a little bit different. So there we go, folks. Um, hope you like this one. Um, as I say, lid comes off quite nicely. There's the inside. Uh, it's not very deep, but it's, you know, deep enough. Well, thanks for watching, folks. Uh, please check out my sponsor for this video. It's a great help the channel when uh, companies like GlassesUSA.com want to sponsor the channel uh, and it really does help and uh, these guys have got some amazing glasses so please check them out link is below um, as you can see i'm now rocking out these glasses i will be continuing to rock out these glasses from these guys they obviously sent me down a few pairs to check out and they're cool look at this one this one kind of looks a bit buddy holly you know buddy holly right um i'm not sure if i like the buddy holly look well Maybe. <laughs> but I probably prefer the Harry Potter one, if I'm being honest. Link below, guys. Also, loads of other links down there for you to check out. Please check me out on Instagram. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, why not? If you're flying past and you haven't subscribed, please smash the subscribe button for me. Please hit the bell so that you can be notified of every video that I put up. I really want to um, just say thanks to everyone that supported me. And, and I get lots of new followers every day, which is fantastic. But, but I'm also conscious of the fact that all the, other, all the other people that followed me years ago that probably aren't watching my videos right now. And I get the concept of YouTube and you know, the algorithms and things and how, you know, you can't, everyone can't watch everyone's videos. You know, generally I suppose you only get a very small minority watching your videos. Um, but I just want to try and engage more people. So please folks, if you could, it would be a huge help if you could share this video uh, with your friends and family, uh, because that then gets, you know, the ball rolling. And then if it rolls, more and bigger and then more and more people suddenly i'll come across an old subscriber and he'd be like oh it's nick the buddy i used to subscribe to him actually i'm still subscribed to him i'll start watching his videos again um so uh it'd be really cool anyway that was it really a little bit of a waffle at the end hey it is me come on um so thanks guys girls 
everyone that's watching. Uh, stay safe. We're still in lockdown here in the UK, but we've been opened up a little bit more. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm still going crazy, as you probably gathered. <laughs> Thanks to all my Patreons as well. You are amazing. Uh, check out where I get my music from. Uh, every Everything else is in there, you know. And um, I just want to say thanks. And you guys are amazing. I love you all. Uh, well, almost all of you. Not the trolls, obviously. <laughs> but I've got a really great troll net. And I kind of like catch a lot of those trolls in the net. And they're kind of like in there. And I don't really go in to see what they're up to. But they're in the net and they just do their own thing. Unbelievable, guys. Really, really great. We don't really care. To be fair, now that right. <laughs> anyway, I'll start waffling on. I hope everyone is well. I said that already, but uh, you know, I know there's some people that don't mind me waffling. Others have probably already switched off by now. <laughs> Others are still hanging around. It's so hot. I don't know why I've got this jacket on because it wasn't. Oh, Whew. got a bit hot there. <sighs> um, so uh, I have got the craziest pencil project coming up for you folks. You're gonna love this. <laughs> wow, I kind of hope so. I've been meaning to make this for ages and ages, and I finally got around to doing it. I've had a few delays on it, but it's coming, it's almost there. Hopefully it'll be a next Saturday video. Fingers crossed. Uh, so that's it, stay safe, stay well, see you soon. <laughs> and that's it really, I'm just really waffling now, so I'll say goodbye. Toodle pip, bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.